I didn't really have big dreams when I started boxing. I just did it because I loved it. I loved that feeling of winning. It was just local home shows. Um, and that feeling of your hard training and your hard work paying off when your hands raised. Sky Nicholson. I do it for the people that um, have backed me and believed in me from the start. I do it for my family, I do it for my, my team, and I do it for my country. Uh, I love representing my country. I've been a proud Australian uh, on the world stage for, for years now. And um, yeah, I do, it, I do it for Australia as well. I was really happy with that performance. I feel like I'm starting to show a lot more of what my team have already seen in the gym for um, longer, but there's still so much more to show. And I, I feel like I've said from the start of my career that I'm going to be the best Sky Nicholson and have the best performances against the best opposition. So the better the opposition in front of me, the better Sky Nicholson you're gonna see. And I really proved that in the Wild Heart fight. Um, Lucy Wild Heart doesn't get stopped. Uh, she's been in with pound for pound fighters. And, divisions above um, on a day's notice. Uh, so to stop her, I felt like it was a really good statement win. And I, I feel like that was just the, the start of, of some really big statements that are gonna be made, um, especially in my next few fights. I don't want to say Serrano is scared of me because I don't think that, I wouldn't think that about her, but I do think that Serrano and her team know that my style is wrong for her, that it's going to be a hard night in the office for her. Um, maybe not a physically hard fight because I know she's, um, she's a very physical fighter, um, but I think mentally it would be a very hard fight for her. I've, my, I've, I think I have a far superior boxing IQ and boxing brain. And I, I think she knows deep down that she's very, she's, she would struggle in that fight. Since I couldn't fight Serrano for this belt, I'm fighting the next best that I could possibly fight. Um, she's number two in the world in Sarah Mahfoud. Her only loss is against Serrano. Um, just over a year ago, she actually took three rounds off Serrano as well. She won't be taking three rounds off me. There's big statements to be made on April 6th. I'm very excited for this fight. I think I'm in there against a world-class girl and you're gonna see a world-class guy, Nicholson. When I decided to go all in on my pro career, it was, it was all, all eyes set on um, the world title. So uh, it's very special to be, to be at that moment now. I think it's so iconic. I feel like fighting in Vegas, your first world title fight, um, this little girl out of Yatla, Australia, it's, it's iconic. I'm so excited. I feel like I couldn't have asked for a better world title fight. Um, I definitely won't be settling for, for one world title, so it's gonna be the start of a, of a, a bigger journey. Um, multiple weight world champion, undisputed, all of that stuff. I'm gonna dance under those lights and I'm gonna look a million dollars.